um, for today, I'm going to sh uh, show you introduction to Google Classroom for student. Our focus for today is Google Classroom for student. Even though previously we have class for Google Classroom, it's for the teachers. But for today, our main focus is for the student. What will they see? What will they have to do with their Google Classroom? Okay, so there's uh, three things that we're going to learn. Uh, how they can join the class, how the student can join the class, how can the student return the assignment given um, by their teachers, and also how, how can they see their marks given by the teachers. So this is the three things, uh, the main things that we're going to learn today. Okay, so Google Classroom, what, uh, what is the usage of Google Classroom? So Google Classroom is the normally, it's a place for homework. Um, so the teachers will assign them with tasks, with homework. So um, they are the one who are going to fill up the coursework and return it back to the teachers. And also, it also works as a class discussion because the student can interact with the teacher and also with their classmate. So it's also work as a, a class discussion. Uh, of course, it's a, a coursework because uh, once the student um, submit their work, the teacher will give them mark. So it's also work as a coursework. So um, Google Classroom also available in Google Play if they're using their phone. It's available in Google Play or if they're using uh, um, uh, uh, Apple, also available in App Store. So it's downloadable in App Store and also Google Play for free. Uh, um, just search for Google Classroom. So if you're using a browser, so you, you need to go to classroom.google.com or if you click on your apps menu or you click in your apps menu, just ensure that you already signed in into your Gmail account. So go to the apps menu and um, scroll down, you will find a Google Classroom. Okay, so this is how can you open up Google Classroom. Either you're using your phone, Android or uh, Apple or you're using the browser. So you, you can choose either one of this way to open up your Google Classroom. So first, um, I'm going to show you how the student going to join a class. Okay, so here, once they open up their Google Classroom, they have option either to create class or join a class. So the student are required to join a class. So once they click join class, so they will ask about the class code. How can the student get the class code? So as a teacher, when you create a, when you create a class, you will, give, you will be given a class code. So the class code is the one that you share with your student. So the student will key in the class code here when they choose join, and then they will require to key in the class code. So the student will key in the class code here for example, here, I'm entering the six, um, the class code here. So once I already placed the class code, I just click on join. Okay. So I already have a class code here. So I just key in the class code and then I click on join. Okay. Now I already entered the class. So this is my class. The class name will be webmina. So here is uh, my homework, the things that I need to do. And here is like work as your stream. So if your teacher post up something, so will appear here, it's like a stream. Okay, um, at 8.30, this is my teacher, post a new question. 8.11, my teacher post up a new material for, the, for my class. So this is my class, this is my homework, and this is all the stream, the news, whatever happened in my class, if there is any new uh, new, new post of air or if there's any work, so it will be here in the stream. So here is the task for my homework. Okay, so here if I uh, write, Previously, I click on um, view all because I want to see all my assignment that assigned to me. 
Okay, I want to know all the assignment was assigned to me. So when I click view all, so this is the assigned work that the that my teacher gave to me. Okay, so as you can see, um, assign assign missing missing means I passed the due date. So I didn't manage to submit the task given within the due date. So that's why um, if you can see. It's written there missing because I already missed the due date. Therefore, my, there's no there's no um, any written assignment, so that's why it's written there um, missing. So some of it doesn't have due date, so it will say no due date. Okay, no due date. So this is like the status. So assignment. Okay, the teachers give it to me, and then here due is the due date. When is the due? So if I already passed the due. It will say missing. Sorry, I, I want to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, can I still submit the assignment if uh, it, it, it is missing? Okay, All right. Uh, yeah, don't, you don't have to worry even though uh, it's written there missing, even though you already passed the due. You still can submit the assignment. There's no issue. It's just either will your teacher return the mark to you or not. Yes, even though you, uh, you already missing the due date, you still can submit. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, later on, I will also demo to you straight from the Google Classroom. For now, we're just going to uh, run through everything. But after this, uh, I'm going to open up Google Classroom and show it to you. Okay, so that's, um, that's the assignment. So if that's uh, the classwork, the assignment that the teacher give to me. So here, uh, if I go to the classwork, if I go to the classwork, Okay, um, previously you are on the stream side. Okay, previously you are on the stream side. So if you go to the classwork, it's going to be beside the, um, beside your stream. Okay, so here you can see all the, all the work, all the work. So here is the topic because sometimes the teacher will, uh, will give specific topic. So it's easy for the teacher and also for you to search for the assignment related to certain topic. If there's no topic assigned, it should be uh, on the top. Okay. Okay. For example, for this one, where do you want to go here? Why it's on the top? Because there's no topic assigned for this particular question. That's why it's on the top without any topic. If the teacher, when the teacher write the assignment and put topic in it, so it will, um, it will gather all, for example, the topic form. So um, for the assignment under the topic form will be in one places. It will be in what create will be in one places. So here's how's the topic work. Okay, this one, um, the student have no control, only the teachers have control uh, when they are created the topic. Okay, when uh, when you open up, this one is a student, when you open up class drive folder, here you can see all your assignment. Okay, for now I haven't, uh, I haven't did any assignment, so that's why it's empty. But if you already have a few assignment that you already submit to your teachers, so all your assignment will be places in one particular folder in your Google Drive. So if you want, if you wish to open up to check your previous assignment, um, you, how you can do it is just by clicking from your classwork, class drive folder. So here you will see all the list of your assignment, all the your assignment work. And if you go to the Google Calendar, so it will sync together with your calendar. So you can see um, all your assignment due in your Google Calendar. So if you install it in your phone, so you will uh, you will be able to see it um, the due when is the due for your assignment. So Google Calendar here it will sync together with your Google Classroom. So you will see the notice for your assignment due as well. If you want to find out who is in, um, if you want to find out who is in your class, so here 
if you go to people, just now you are in classwork, if you go to people, you can see the teachers. So this is your teacher and also you can see your classmates. So you will find your classmate list here. So who's your teacher and also your classmate. Okay. Uh, sorry, I want to ask. Uh, how many teachers? How many teachers are allowed in one classroom? Uh, you mean co-teachers? Yeah. Co-teachers. Uh, no. Okay. How many teachers do you wish to have? Uh, how about uh six co-teachers? Six co-teachers. Uh, for now, you. Um... Uh, let me check. Uh, sorry. Uh, for previously, the maximum that I tried is five. Let me just confirm. Uh, just give me a few minutes. I will confirm. All right, all right. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hi, I have questions. Uh, what about the participants? What is the maximum numbers of participants? Okay. All right. So, um, if you are under, okay, uh, depends on your domain account. If you are Jisut for education, okay, Jisut for education, you can have 20 teachers, 20 teachers including yourself. So you have 19 co-teachers. So in total, oh. there will be 20 teachers per classes. Uh, the number of students will be 1,000. This is for oh. Jisut for education. If you're using your personal Gmail, um, for example, kt at gmail.com, the... Um, the number of teacher is the same, 20 including yourself, the number of teacher maximum. But the number of student, it will be 250 only. Oh, okay. If you are using the normal Gmail, 250. But if you are using G Suit for Education, 1000. Uh, what is the difference between G Suit and uh, personal Gmail? A uh, personal Gmail, Gmail, if you're using at gmail.com. If G Suit for Education, uh, no, uh, the one MOE, if you're using under uh, school MOE, so that's one is uh, is under G Suit for Education. So it's paid. Uh, technically, it's a paid uh, version. So if you're using personal one at gmail.com, yeah, the limit of student will be 250 per classes. If you're using MOE, so your limit, it will be 1,000 per classes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, now how can we, how can the student return their assignment? So they want to submit their assignment to the teachers. Okay, how can they do this? So here, um, first, okay, this uh, for this example, the teacher already assigned me uh, with assignment with make a copy, make a copy. Because when the teacher assign, they can choose make a copy, um, edit or view the file. Here, the teachers allow me to make a copy. So what I can do is, I just click um I just click here on the file. So it will give me the my name here, Katy Korai. Okay. So I just click on it. So it will open up a new tab. So this is the matching will be the title for the for the file. So here it's stating here Katy Korai the student name because to to show them this is your copy. So you can edit it. So the student can just work here from the file. So the student can just work here straight from the file, make a copy. So the student can just work here. For example, here is a matching, drag and drop. So I just drag and drop the answer. So how can I return this back to the teacher? I can just click on turn in. So here, just click on turn in or there's another way. So let's say I already closed this. So here, I can also choose here, turn in. This is when you open up your um, assignment. I will show you later on as well when you how can you open up your assignment. But here, how can you turn in, return your assignment? So here's how. You work on it and then you just click on turn in. That's how you can, um, can give back your assignment to the teacher. Okay, like this. Even though you already work on the document, if you did not turn in the document, your teacher will not get it. So kindly ensure that you turn in your um, you turn in your your assignment. So accordingly, so either you click turn in from the file that you work on, or from the assignment site, 
you must make sure that you turn in. How to know that you turn in or not? So once after you turn in, the button is not, uh, the button will not be turned in anymore. It will be a uh, different button. So here, when you click on turn in, okay, I'll show you. So when you click on turn in, it will ask you, okay, you're going to turn in your work. So the attachment here will be submitted. Okay, it will inform you turn in your work. So this is the uh, this is the document that will attach together in my assignment. Okay, click on turn in. So now it's turning in. And then if you can see now the button become unsubmit. How This is how you know that you already written back the assignment. So it's no longer going to be turned in. The button will be unsubmit. That's another way to check to ensure that uh, did I really turn in my assignment to my teacher. So what can you do? You open up the assignment again and just check on it. Is it the button still turned in or it become unsubmit? If it show unsubmit means you already submit the assignment. But if the button still turned in means you haven't written the assignment to the teacher. So how? As a student as well, you also have the uh, chance to maybe fix your quest, uh, fix your answer. Maybe for example, you already submit, you already turn in your uh, assignment, but then after uh, you have a few discussion with your friend, you notice that oh, actually uh, the the answer for the second question is wrong. How can I fix it? So this is how you can also unsubmit your um, your assignment and then um, send it again send it over again so um, first how what can you do you press unsubmit okay unsubmit you click on submit okay this is for the assignment that you already turned in but you want to fix it so you open up you press unsubmit Okay, just to let you know as well, if there is a score given to you, for example, I already turned this uh, assignment in to my teacher. If I unsubmit, so the so the mark previously will be void. Okay, if I unsubmit, the mark previously given to me will be void. So the teacher needs to um, to mark it again. Okay, so now I click on unsubmit. It will it will remind you. Don't forget to resubmit uh, once you are done. So once I click unsubmit, it will just remind you. So you just unsubmit. Okay, now you can just fix it and turn in again. So that's uh, that's how it works. So just in case you want to fix it, unsubmit, fix it, and then turn in again. Just remember to turn in because even though you already work on your document, if you didn't turn in. The teachers, uh, the teachers um, cannot see your answer. So kindly ensure that you turn in after you unsubmit. Okay, so this is for question. So this is for question. Um, oops. So for question, there will be no mark. Okay. Um, if the teachers um, give you question, there will be no mark for this part, okay? There, there will be no mark for question because question is just, um, you just answer. So the teacher cannot give mark on it. Okay, so you just, uh, here, for example, this is question, no mark given. So for question, you just, uh, you for question, they will just um, give you like this. Type in your answer. Okay, type in your answer. So uh, the student will just type in their answer and turn in. Turn in. So for question, you cannot uh, unsubmit. Okay. Um, for question type, um, when the teacher posts up a question, so when the student submit, you won't be able to make any changes after you submit your, uh, your answer. That's uh, for question. For question, you cannot uh, fix it. You cannot undo it. So you just turn in, turning in, and then that's it. You can see here. So this is my reply. And then I also can see all my classmate answer here as well for question. I can also see all my classmate answer right here. Okay. Now, 
um, how the student can check their marks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how can you ensure that they cannot? Okay, wait, I have a question. Let me just answer that. Uh, okay, uh, Malika, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrongly. Uh, monitor all the slides and notes overall for teachers and do backup. Okay. All the materials uh, for the class, for the particular class, will be places in one folder. So you don't have to worry. It will be in your Google, on your G Drive, Google Drive. So you don't have to, you don't really have to worry much about it. It will be in one place. Malika, it will be in one place, in one folder in your Google Drive. For every class that you created with Google Classroom, um, they will create, automatically create create a folder for you. So you don't have to worry, it will be in one place. It will be one place. Uh, as a teacher, how do we make sure they cannot submit? Okay, so you cannot actually set the time, but what can you do once they are unsubmit? If you go back to, as a teacher, if you go back to the marking sheet, you to grade books, you will see that they are, um, they are, for example, you already uh, give them 80%. So now, if you go back, the mark is no longer there. So if they already passed the due date, you already check everything. So yeah, that's the only thing you can do, but you cannot uh, make the time limit for each assignment given. You can just, uh, another way, the, uh, for the unsubmit, you cannot really control it because they still can fix it even though after due, even though missing after due, they still can submit. It's just for you if you want to mark it or not. Okay, if you want to mark, because if it's overdue, it will come out in your um, grade book, it's overdue. As a teacher, you can see it is overdue. If the student um, submit their assignment late, you can still see it's overdue. Okay, it's late. Mm -hmm. If it's, um, you can set the timing and then when you open up your mark, uh, mark grade, you can see it's late. For those who already, for those who submit their assignment after the time, the due date you set, you will see it's late. Okay, uh, let, I, mean, so I cannot uh, let, I cannot make sure that they can, uh, they can only do it once. Lah, because in Google Forms, no. we can set only one response, right? So if mm -hmm. this open kind of question or assignments, mm -hmm. if they want to do again, like you said, we cannot set it up. Mm -hmm. We cannot say that they do once. So let's say we have already they've already submitted the first answer. We have already graded and returned back to the student. Mm -hmm. And then later on they want to redo and submit again. It's mm -hmm. up to us whether we want to mark or not, lah, right? Yeah, but yeah. let's say if we mark, will this second time marks override the first time or both? Yes. yes. No, no, it will override. Oh, it will override the second one. So yes. that means if we want it as an assessment, we can't do it this way like, because after they submit, they can discuss with your friend or they can look at the books and then they can do it again. That means everybody will get very high marks. Mm, how, yes. can set, how can we set a kind of assessment whereby it's not Google form where it's not objective? That means simple short answers where we do not want them to uh, check books or discuss with their friends. That means a simple assessment. That means we cannot use this method, like, is it? No. Ah, yes, for the simple assessment, you, you still can use that method. It's just that uh, I will say you need to set up the due date. The due date. And then um, if, uh, if uh, let's say, if you, you need to inform them as well that uh, if you unsubmit your work, that the first mark will be gone. And uh, then, oh, maybe. Mentioned, uh, sorry, just now you mentioned where, we, where can we see back the unsubmit? Uh, I mean, the first time marks, is it at the grades there? Uh, as a teacher or as a student? As a, as a, as a teacher. Oh, as a teacher, if you go to your um, mark, to your grade uh, area, mm -hmm. so there you can see the name of student and also the mark given, right? So uh -huh. if there, if you already, for example, I already gave that person 80, per, uh, 80 and then mm -hmm. that person unsubmit and this person submit again, so it the, the, the mark will be blank. So means that you need oh. to check. Uh, the mark will be blank. It will be override automatically. Override by the second time submission. Yeah, the second time submission. And then uh, 
there will be no 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 mark for it unless you mark it. So the first time, the first mark, I cannot see back already. No. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so that means if they submit again, I won't be able to see back the first mark lah. Uh, uh, no. And then if I don't grade the second time, there will be no marks lah. Yes. I can still return back the assignment if there's uh, I don't grade it right. I can just return it like that. Is it? If I don't you grade it. it. Oh no! If uh, you don't grade. Oh, okay. Yes, you can return it. They will not receive any mark. Uh, but then yeah. they will know that they have done it late and whatever lah. Mm, you can also write a feedback note if when oh. you return it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, as a student, this is how can you check your mark? Okay. Uh, let's go here. So, this is uh, just um, my Google Classroom. So, in my Google Classroom right now, I have one class. Okay. I have one class. So, here, I want to open up. Um, this is another way if I want to open up all my work. Okay. All my work. Uh, I only want to see my homework. I don't want to go into the class. I don't want to see the stream, the discussion. No, uh, this is just more like a straightforward. I just want to see all my work. Okay. So by clicking this, uh, this symbol, open up your works for, and then they will return your class name. Click on it. So here also you can see all your, all your assigned work that will, that already assigned to you. Okay. So if you notice, there's a filters, okay? That's a filters. I'm going to show you how the filter work. So if I click on assign, um, this filter will give me all the all the assignment assigned to me, okay? Assigned to me, assigned to you. So you will see here that's a missing because I already passed the due date, okay? And then all the and all other thing assigned because there's new date, no due date, so it's still assigned. All the works teacher gave to me, list of assigned work. Second, I can list of work written with grade. So here, if I go here, okay, this is how can you, uh, how you can see all your marks. So here, I can see, this is the title of the assignment, and then I have one attachment. And then um, the mark given was 100 over 100. So if you have um, ad any other uh, classwork, you will also see it right here. And also uh, the on the right side, you will see all the mark, okay? All the mark. If you go to missing, so you know which, uh, which assignment that you haven't worked on. If you go to missing, you can see this is all the assignment list that I passed the due date. So here is the filter. For now, there's only three filter, which is assigned. You can check all the assignment assigned to you. You can check your grade, written with grades, what the teacher give to you, written with grade, and missing. So if you go here, so here is another way if um, you want to open up the folder. So if I open up the folder, just now, as you know, I already created one assignment, which is the matching. So this is the assignment. Uh, so all the assignment, all the things that you work on as a student will be also um, be in one folder. So this folder only you can see. Okay. This folder will be created in your Gmail. So it will be in one places. So every other assignment that you already written it to your teacher will be here as well. You can see it here as well. So now I'm going to open up Google Classroom. So I'm going to show you more details. So let's just see. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going here. So this is my Google Classroom. Okay. So here, me as a student. So this is the class. So this is the name of the class. So this is my teacher. And then I just click on it to go in here. So here is the stream. So the stream is all like a news feed. So if the teacher posts something, if someone posts something, it will be here. So this is more like a news feed. So um, during this time, okay, this teacher posts an assignment, uh, posts an assignment, posts assignment. So here, upcoming, you will be able to see all your homework. So just say I click on view all. So here 
is um, all my homework, okay? All my homework. So there's a missing, there's a sign. So this one I already turn in, turn in, okay? I already turn in, but there's no mark because this is just a question. For example, here. Okay, let's say I want to work on this. Even though it's missing, no work has been attached, so I can view details. Okay, view details. So I just fill up the form again. Um, even though you already fill up the form, you need to let your teachers know that you already. Um, already work on the form. So you must inform your teacher by clicking mark as done. If you didn't click mark as done, so your teacher didn't know that you already submit the, you already done, you already fill up the form. Okay, so it's very important as a student, you ensure that you either mark as done, so either you attach an uh, attachment, if it's a question that uh, require you to attach something, make sure that you attach something. So how can you attach? You can just click on add or create this button here. Okay. So you attach the document either from your drive or create a new document, whatever required by your teacher. If need attachment, ensure that you attach the, uh, the uh, ensure that you attach the question, the answer and then mark as done. Or because why is mark as done? Because this is a type of Google form given to me. So the option here mark as done. So if it's um, if it's question that have a Google Doc, Google Slide in it, so normally the button will be turned in. Okay. Or also you can um, have a private comment with your teacher. Maybe oh sorry teacher, I don't understand question number two, so I skip question number two, for example. So once you're done, just click on mark as mark as done. Okay. So that's um again here. So how you want to work on it, you can just view details. So you're already in here. So assign, you will see all the classwork assigned to you. Intermediate grade. So I can see all the assignment that are already completed and we together with the grade. And then missing the one that I missed the due date. So here in your classwork, Okay, in your classwork, there's another way for you to watch your, to see your homework. You can also go to here, view your work. So here, you will also be here, view your work. Okay, so here, again, like I said, the topic will uh, created by the teachers. Okay, the topic will be created by the teachers just because sometimes it will be easier for you to search for certain uh, certain work based on the topic. For example, here, the teacher already said uh, Google document. So this is the assignment under Google document topic. So if you want to work on something, you can just click on it. Again, view assignment. So here, view assignment. Okay, missing. Because I already passed the due, the due is here. Okay, so here is the folder that you can see all your document that you have worked on. So here people, I can see who's in my class, my teammates and my teachers. Okay, um, just let me, okay, now I'm done the showing you. Okay, let's see if you have any question, feel free to ask me. So I will be able to demonstrate to you. Is there anything else that you wish to see uh, if, for the student? Is there anything that you want uh, to see? So I will demonstrate to you. Just let me know if you have any other question that I can help you with. Everybody okay? No issue with Google Classroom? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. I want to ask hmm? uh, uh, about the Google uh, Google form. Once uh -huh. I uh, submit the, uh, let's say, quiz lah. Okay. Uh -huh. so, once uh -huh. I submit, I still have to turn in the assignment? Yeah. Uh, it will say mark as done. Mark as done. So I need uh -huh. to click the mark as done lah. Yep. Yeah, it, it, yeah, you must, you must click my uh, is done. 
Oh, so I need to remind my students like that. Yes, yeah, just ensure the click mark is done just be, uh, because later on you as a teacher, uh, let me just show you. Okay, uh, also let me just show you. So this is my uh, student and then this is my teachers. Okay, if I go to grades. Here, if the student didn't click a uh, mark as done, it will be missing. So unless if the student already answered it, it will be like this. So you can give mark. Okay. Right. Yeah. If the uh -huh. student didn't click mark as done, it will come up missing. It, uh, missing because he already passed the due date. I'm just saying like, if the student didn't click or mark as done, so it will not become like this, okay? It will uh -huh. not become like this. Okay, Sorry, yes? this happened to say give marks, but then we do not know what is the score for the Google form, isn't it? If they have already done it and they didn't uh -huh. click mark as done, we can't uh -huh. give any marks there, right? Even though we have import grade there already, automatically. Uh -huh itself but mm -hmm. can't give any marks correct because they didn't click marks done right yes correct ah okay so they yep. what we can do is can we just ask them to submit a snapshot of the uh, score and then we just add we just uh, key in ourselves onto the mark sheet there is it uh yep um also you uh you as the one who created the form you can also check the spreadsheet for the answer Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. you can check the Under spreadsheet. The responses, right? Under the responses there. Yeah, yes, correct. Under the responses, you can see their answer. Uh, but the, I, mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, I have a small problem. After I uh, already posted the uh, Google form and all that, when I want to come back to the quiz or the Google form, I cannot find the responses um the tab up there already. I know there are two tabs up there, isn't it? One mm -hmm. is for the the question and one is for the responses. The two uh -huh. words are missing already on the okay. quiz itself. Okay, yeah. let me just uh, open up the quiz assignment. Okay, so this is the, the quiz assignment yeah. read by me. Okay, yeah, I don't see the... Uh, you go to edit, edit this form, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now we go to responses. Oh, I have to click edit before I can yeah, see yes, the question yes. response. We will see the, uh, the small edit button here, right here. Yeah. So now I you can already see it. Oh, I see. If I don't click that, I will just see the whole blank. Yeah. I'll just see the form uh, only. Okay. I don't see that uh, one. Okay, okay, right. Okay, thank you. Okay. Right. Any other question that I can help? So just ask me because yeah, because I know most of the teacher are using uh, Google Classroom right now. So I'm just trying to help you out um, to see what actually the student are seeing and like why you cannot get their um, their assignment. So I'm just here to show you how it works. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will be more than happy to guide you. Uh, sorry. Uh, yep. Can I use other application uh, for this uh, assignment? Uh, let's okay. say quiz. Yes, you can do it. But uh, what you can do, you uh, you send it as a link. Uh -huh. So this is a teacher. Okay, let me just last work. Wait, assignment. Mm -hmm. You uh, add on the link. For example, quizzes link. So here you, you key in the quizzes. Let me just pick a random link. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let me just say pick that one. Okay, so normally you have a specific link uh, for them to uh, to uh, to do the quiz, right? For example, I have this uh, link. Okay, you just instruct them. Okay, please go to the link and um and do the quizzes. 
but oh. here um, the mark you will need to do it uh, manually as well so there will also will be prompt just call, let me complete this there will be prompt to to uh, to mark as done for this one so, uh, Kathy, like I've already, uh, previously I used Google Forms. Now, this time I've already given quizzes, uh, uh, this uh, quiz for them. But the thing mm -hmm. is, I cannot see their score, resonate. Right? How can I see their score for quizzes? So, you, you, uh, you need to open up quiz. You need to open up uh, quizzes. So, they, they will not... Uh, because I just put the link from quizzes yeah. and give to them. Yeah. So when they yeah. do it, they do it on their phone or they do it on a computer. It's not linked yeah. to my classroom, isn't it? I can't see yeah. their school. No. Oh. So this is uh, similar like you're doing, you're giving, the, uh, you're giving assignment based on Google Form. So the student can only mark as done. So you need to open up the form uh, quizzes and see their score and give then, their score according to that. Uh, then key in separately in the yeah. classroom, lah. Right. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, can, can you show how to open the quizzes? Uh, oh, you just click. Uh, the student will only be able to click it. So whatever link you are give them, for example, just now I give this link. So whatever link you give them, so the student needs to just click and go to the link, and work on the, or, or work on it. And follow the instruction given by the teacher. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very important for you uh, as a teacher to give instruction when you create something like this. So once they already completed, they just mark as done. Okay. Uh, they, they didn't attach anything. So again, like you said, if you wish uh, them to attach a screenshot, you can ask them to do that as well. So ask them to attach a screenshot. Okay. You can uh, ask them to attach a screenshot or here. Let's say I already attached a screenshot. I just say mark. So this is my grade. So here, uh, where is it? Quiz. Ah, so here, um, because I already said mark is done. As you can see, now it's become like this. Hmm. So you, so you need to check it uh, manually. It's the same concept for Google Form. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. For the link, you it can be anything, anything at all. Any link that you wish to put, or maybe you said, okay, do some research on this. Uh, for example, do some research on this article and then um, write to me what do you think about it. And then you can also assign mark accordingly. So you can be creative uh, in this part because the link, uh, there's no automatic, automatic grade. So because you are the one who needs to give grade for the student, so you can also ask them like that. Any link at all. Okay, thank you. Okay, some students say they cannot download the PDF file. Okay, so just in case if you, um, they cannot download the PDF file. Okay, can you uh, ensure that the fold, uh, the file that you allow it to be shared with everybody? So, um, just in case maybe sometimes the settings for that particular file. So how can you do it? So if you go to your class folder. Let's go to my class folder. Okay, if you go to your class folder. So you said you are sharing the PDF, but students said they cannot view it. So the other way you can do, you open up the class folder and make sure that the setting, the sharing setting for that particular file, allow them to view it. Let's say here, you just um, make sure that sometimes if, it's, if that happened, what you can do, and click here and then you ensure that uh, your setting for sharing setting that allow them to view it and then here uh, be, uh, you go to advance so because uh, the setting right now i have only specific people can access so make sure that you um, have it like maybe on so anyone with the link can open it or also um, on public on the web so anyone can access the file. So just ensure that the PDF file uh, sharing setting allow them to view it because sometimes um, it didn't, the reason why because you, the setting itself. I'm sharing. Every time we share the new link, different apps 
Um, if the apps require the student to download it, yes, the student need to download. But certain, uh, certain quiz actually it just give you the link. So you just the student just need to go to the link and uh, complete the work. So it depends on the depends on the link that you share because it can be anything here it, on the top here you will see class average if you there's a stream classwork people grades so if you go to grades it's here if the class average it will be by uh, it will be there on the top uh, okay it needs to be from uh from from grades you cannot do anything but if you go to classwork so this is a per according to the uh, assignment if i go to classwork and choose the assignment let's say i want to work on maths okay maths view assignment so this is uh, you must uh, log in as a teacher yeah? so classwork from classwork view assignment pick any assignment so here is, is the assignment so you can see here all my students who turn in how many turn in the assignment how many just assigned but didn't do anything what you can do you actually can uh, go to the setting and the copy the grades or download the grade you can also import the grade here okay so you can do that uh, do it or so just import the grades let's say i import it Okay, one over six, import and update it. So I also let you know what time you last import that thing or you can just download. You can download all here. If you go to the setting, you can download all or you only uh, download this one. So you also have option either you want to download everything or you only want to upload only one. Okay, only assignment, right? Only assignment can be downloaded. Um, only assignment, assignment. All the all the one that have mark. Only okay, alright, alright. Yeah, understand. the one that have mark. 